Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Volcano AC and in this episode I will compare a stock limiter plugin in my DAW against a paid limiter plugin. I want to see if it's worth spending the extra money on a limiter. The stock limiter that I'll be using is the Presonus limiter plugin which was included in Studio One Artist version and the paid limiter is the SSL X limit that goes for about $100. In a previous episode, I compared paid plugins against each other, specifically the SSL X limit, Fab Filter Pro L2, which goes for about $179, and Stealth Limiter by IK Multimedia that is currently on sale for $30. Link to that video in the description below. For this episode, I wrote and recorded a song in a short period of time. I did a rough mix and exported it to put the limiters to the test. So bear with me on the song. It is definitely not going to be radio ready. All right, let's get into it. All right, and we are here in Studio One at the project page, and you can see my song, Ace of Space. This is the mix number one, and let's check the loudness. And I actually mixed on the K20 scale, trying to target zero dBs, and you can see that translate to minus 20.2 integrated loves, and a true peak of minus six dBs, which is great because that means that we have plenty of space in our song, as you can see over here, in between our sound wave and the end of the track. So plenty of headroom in order to push this song uh, to become louder. So after that, uh, let me show you the limiters that we have. So the first one is the limiter 2 from Presonus, like I mentioned in the intro. And these are the settings that uh, in which it, uh, it starts the plugin. So I'm going to change the peak RMS view to the K14. Remember, I mix at K20, but for mastering, I'll do the K14. And the ceiling, I'm going to try to set it up as minus 1. And I'm going to be playing around with it. So I can do just minus 1 like that. And I'll do the threshold probably at minus 5 just to get started. And uh, it has different modes, A and B. And the attack, so how fast we want the limiter to be starting. It could be fast, normal, or slow. I'll start with normal and switch around. And the release, we can choose between uh, one millisecond all the way to three seconds. So that'll be slow and that'll be very, very fast. So I'll start uh, putting it here in the middle and see how that goes. Um, and then the gain is the other knob over here. We can push the volume as much as we need to. And then the other plugin is the SSL X limit right here. And for this one, um, this is how the plugin uh, gets started, the default preset. And the same thing, I'm going to be switching around here the uh, ceiling over there, trying to make it the same around minus one, just like this one over here, minus one ceiling. And the threshold, I also started probably at minus five as well just so we can compare more or less apple to apples. And the gain, I'll be pushing it as well. And I'll be uh, pressing the auto release and look ahead um, just to see how that sounds. And also, of course, switching to the different modes up here. So let's get started. Uh, first, let's hear how it sounds without um, any particular limiter on you will be able to see here uh, the integrated loves. Uh, and the ideal is to uh, achieve a minus 14 or around that amount. So let's go ahead and get started.
Let me know in the comments below if you feel that it's worth paying for the limiter plugin or do you feel that the stock limiter was good enough. I personally really like the different features on the paid plugin, like the auto release, and that I can choose different modes besides transparent, like color and glue. The steering and docking meters were definitely very helpful for me. I can use both my ears and my eyes to find the sweet spot of the settings. I love the overall functionality of the paid limiter plugin, so for me, definitely it was worth the purchase. Before finishing this video, I would like to point out that the Presonus limiter sounded great to me and I had no issues with it. It is perfect if you're just starting and don't have a budget for a paid limiter. The plugin has the basics for limiting and gets the job done. All right, 
And that is all for this episode. If you like this video, don't forget to smash the like button. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.